Debbie here from White Pine Programs, and I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of shelter building. And you may ask yourself, how can I stay warm and dry with just a bunch of sticks and leaves? And I'm here to let you know it is possible and it is true that you can indeed stay warm and dry if you build a good shelter. And what we build here at White Pine, we call them debris shelters, made of sticks and debris, mostly oak leaves and other leaves that have fallen on the ground. So the important part of these structures when we're thinking about building anything that will hold and contain human beings laying down sleeping or having a snack or lunch is are these sticks strong and can we build a big enough shelter to hold everybody and then can we gather enough leaves and debris to keep us warm and dry because the key here to staying warm and dry is having enough leaves. Yes, that's the most important part to any shelter building we do here. So I'm gonna show you around a few shelters that we've built here at White Pine, a few different designs. And this is the first design behind me. It's called a lean-to. It has one big open face that I can fit inside if I kneel down. I can lay down here very comfortably. Um, and it's got this nice strong support beam right here holding mostly everything up. And then all this beautiful lattice work all the way down. And once you build all that strong structure, you're gonna to toss on as many leaves as you can. Ideally, you should have as, as much as your arm length, like you should be able to stick your whole arm into the leaf pile. This debris shelter has been sitting for a little bit, so the leaves have compressed a bit, but there's still a lot of good leaves on here that even if it rained, I could stay dry inside this shelter. This is a good place to have a snack or on a not too cold night stay, warm and dry. So follow me as I show you some more shelters. Hello again. So behind me, I have another debris shelter. And this is one we call the debris pee because it's in the shape of a teepee, but it is made entirely out of leaves and sticks. And I'm holding my camera because I'm gonna crawl inside and you're coming with me. <laughs> There's a nice little tunnel and a small door to make sure a lot of wind doesn't get inside or a lot of rain. Unlike the lean-to we just saw, which has one big open face. So I'll crawl inside so you can get a better look at the structure. Follow me. <laughs> I might need a flashlight. That's all right. Hopefully there's no creatures inside because that happens sometimes and that's okay. So here I am inside this beautiful debris pee that needs a little leaf work, but that's okay. So I have behind me lots of sticks holding this entire thing up that meet together at a point at the top, which is roped off a little bit. And then, yes, we've got some windows where some air or rain can get in. We'll fix that another day. And if I spin around, I can lay in here entirely by myself and actually two or three more people can fit inside. And behind me is that small door <laughs> that will hopefully keep the wind and the rain out more so gonna lean to. All right, follow me to see the next one. Hi again, we're here at our third shelter and behind me is a mid-construction wigwam that we have built and the tarps have fallen down but we're on our way to put them back up. And this is a different type of shelter than the debris shelters I showed you because this one is made out of saplings or small trees that are bent into shape and roped off. And usually this type of shelter uses uh, hide or pelts or bark, like birch bark, to cover it to keep it rainproof. Um, that's why this shelter does not have all the leaves on it like the other two we had looked at. Would you like to take a look inside? Come with me. It's still getting some love. Right here is the door, I'm gonna head in. Nice flat area for lots of people. And I can stand up inside because I'm shorter than the person who made this. <laughs> but yeah, so when you sit inside, it's nice and flat. You have a nice wind rainproof piece here. And yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside of a wigwam. Much harder to build, a lot more time consuming and a lot more materials. Um, but still a really cool shelter to build. All right, we've got one more I want to share you. And that will be our tour of the White Pine Shelters. 
Hello again and welcome to our fourth shelter. This is another lean-to type of shelter, but it's built very differently as it doesn't have all of the debris or leaves on it. But this has a tarp on top, but these beams are all trees we had to knock down. And then we screwed holes into them and put wooden dowels in to secure it. So this is a big, almost permanent shelter that we built entirely with nature and a little screw that helped us. So we had a lot of work falling all those trees, they're pine trees, and a lot of work taking all the bark off to make the wood nice and dry and strong and long term. And then we had a long fun time hammering all those small pieces of wood or dowels into. So come on, come check it out with me. Sorry for my shaky hand, but this is our lean-to. It could fit about 10 people. I can stand up inside. I can stand up to about here, and then inside is really big and supported. And then these are the dowels that we had hammered inside. Each of these has a nice strong support for dowels. So yeah, this one is just a fun, lot of work, a lot of time spent. This one took us a few weeks to build, but I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys this really fun, different, unique type of shelter. Cool. So that's our white pine tour of shelters. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something or are inspired to try a different or new style of shelter if you've ever built one, or maybe build a small one to keep a little friend dry and warm. Uh, enjoy your day and have fun building shelters, everybody. Bye.